Welcome back to Spore and Sprout. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clone store-bought mushrooms. You're going to need a fresh sample of whatever mushroom you want to clone, a scalpel, some rubbing alcohol, and some pre-poured agar dishes. As always, make sure you do this in front of a flow hood or inside of a still air box. The first thing you want to do is wipe down everything with the rubbing alcohol, including the mushroom. After you have sterilized everything, rip open the mushroom with your fingers and use a sterile scalpel to cut a little piece from the center and put that on the agar dish. Try to do this part as fast as you can to minimize risk of contamination. If your agar dish does become contaminated, you can isolate a healthy part of it onto a new agar dish which I'll show you at the end of the video. After one to two weeks, your agar dish should be fully colonized, and if anything looks weird, you can isolate the healthiest looking mycelium onto a new agar dish, which I will be showing you right here.
and that's all there is to it. You can use this technique to clean liquid culture or clone store-bought mushrooms or wild mushrooms. And you can also isolate healthy genetics using this technique. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one.